Hello everyone. I Samujal on behalf of the Team Superstar team welcome all the upcoming doctors. Today I am here to give you a brief on the chapter-wise distribution of past 10 years chemistry questions on NEET. So before the beginning I would like to tell a very important thing that is the basic of chemistry is very important without knowing the basic you cannot approach towards learning chemistry. So we everyone know that the chemistry of class 11 and 12 portion is divided into three portion basically. That is the inorganic, organic and the physical. A word question that is inorganic, organic and the physical. So they are divided according to their own properties and according to their own characteristics. So I am going to come up with inorganic, organic and physical separately. First of all, to start with the inorganic portion. So, on the inorganic, the basic things what we have to know is the periodic table. And it is said that periodic table is the mother of inorganic chemistry. Without knowing periodic table, we cannot learn inorganic chemistry. So, on the top of the list, we have S, P, D, and F block. So, from these four chapters, which are solely based on the concept of periodic table, and we have seen that we can see that almost 5 to 6 questions every year they are asking from these 4 chapters which are totally based on the concept of periodic table. Next on the list we have chemical bonding. Sorry, I forgot to tell you one more thing that is there are two basic things what we have to know before learning inorganic chemistry. That is the periodic table and the chapter chemical bonding which is equally essential as periodic table. So, from chemical bonding we can see, from chemical bonding we have seen that they ask almost 4 to 5 questions every year. Next on the list we have that is coordinate compound which is the topic of class 12. Coordinate compound is all about all the elements of S, P, D and F block. They coordinate with each other to gain stability. Uh, from coordinate chapter also they ask around 2 to 3 questions each year. Next on the list we have that is periodic table and its properties. It's a chapter from class 11. Uh, we already learned the periodic table because uh, before studying inorganic chemistry we have to know the periodic table totally and after that learning about the properties. Here you learn about all the atomic radius, boiling point, melting point and almost there are many variations which you have to learn. This is a very easy chapter and they ask you almost 2 to 3 questions each year. Then after coordination, oh, sorry, a periodic table and its properties, we go to the chapter that is metallurgy. Metallurgy is a class 12 chapter and they ask, it's a very small chapter and they ask one question each year. After metallurgy, after metallurgy, we have hydrogen. It's a very tiny chapter. Hydrogen which uh, covers around uh, water and the concept of hydrogen peroxides only. So from hydrogen, uh, hydrogen chapter also they ask uh, one chapter or sometimes they don't ask question from this chapter even. Next after hydrogen we have purification, separation and chemistry in everyday life. So these two are very short and very simple topics to read and they ask questions every year. They ask one to two questions every year. So here is here I come to the end of our inorganic portion. So from inorganic portion what we have learned that the basic what we have to understand, what basic of basic what we have to know from inorganic chemistry is the periodic table we have to know and the second is chemical bonding. These two are the soul of inorganic chemistry. If we have a good grip of periodic table and the chemical bonding, we can solve almost all the questions of inorganic portion. Next, coming on to the organic portion. So, on the organic also, there are two basic things which we have to know before studying organic. So, the first is hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons that is alkane, alkenes and alkynes. Then, we have to know the reaction mechanism after hydrocarbons. We have to know the reaction mechanism because same like uh, inorganic chemistry, which is incomplete without periodic table, like organic chemistry is also incomplete without reaction and its mechanism. So, we are bound to know hydrocarbons, reaction mechanism and on third it is isomerism and its nomenclature, sorry, IUPAC nomenclature and isomerism. The basic things what we have to know in organic chemistry is hydrocarbons, then the second is reaction mechanism and on third is that is IUPAC nomenclature and isomerism. So these are the basics we have to learn before we 
to go to approach organic chemistry. On the top of our organic chemistry list, we have hydrocarbons, that is alkane, alkene, alkynes, and its halogen derivatives. So, can you please tell me what are the uh, uh, elements of group 17? That is uh, group 17 elements. So, I give you a very quick trick that is father, collector, beta, inspector. Yeah, fear, fear, cull, bother, I, auntie. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and I forgot the letter one. We are going to come up with videos where we will teach you how to memorize the periodic table and how to write the periodic table in one minute. So please stay tuned with us. Next, after hydrocarbons, what we have to what we have on the list is oxygen containing compounds, that is alcohol, phenol, ethyl, carboxylic acid, and its derivatives. It's a quite big chapter. I have uh, marked almost 2 3 chapters here and from this topic oxygen containing compounds they ask you around 3 to 4 questions every year so it's, it's very important oxygen containing compounds after hydrocarbons next after oxygen containing compounds we have nitrogen containing compounds it's a very small chapter as compared to the other organic uh, uh, organic portion nitrogen compound nitrogen containing compounds it's a small and tiny chapter you can do it very in a short span of time and they ask almost one to two questions every year after nitrogen containing compounds we have biomolecules i told one interesting fact about biomolecule is that biomolecule is there in biology as well as in chemistry too so while studying biomolecules you can combine the approach of biology and the chemistry too after biomolecules we have on the list is reaction mechanism i told you reaction mechanism is the basic of organic chemistry you have to know reaction mechanism all the reaction mechanisms are equally important so next after reaction mechanism we have iupac nomenclature and the isomerism i already told the importance of iupac nomenclature in and uh, yeah, isomerism and uh, from isomerism they ask almost one question every year Next, after IUPAC nomenclature and uh, isomerism, we have environmental chemistry. Environmental chemistry deals, uh, deals with the chemistry of our everyday life, and uh, it's a very easy topic. And they ask one question almost in here. Next, after uh, chemistry in every uh, environment, sorry, environmental chemistry, we have that is polymers. The most interesting fact about polymer is polymer is a very uh, small chapter, and they ask one to two question every year and there are a few selective questions from chapter polymer you cannot skip uh, many people think that they don't ask questions from the chapter polymer but it's a very important topic because it's a, it's a very small topic and they ask one to two questions every year so here i come to the end of our organic portion what are the basics of organic chemistry we have to learn? That is hydrocarbon, reaction mechanism, IUPAC nomenclature, and isomerism. If we know these four things, then the organic chemistry is at our grip. After completing the organic chemistry, now I come to the physical chemistry portion. Physical chemistry is uh, quite, uh, people find it quite tough because it's on concept, not like me memory based, it's uh, based on the concepts. So, before learning physical chemistry, what is the basic you have to know? That is the basic what you have to know before learning physical chemistry is the mole concept. It's a concept which we learned in the class 9 of CBSC books. Uh, now, mole concept, the utmost important for physical chemistry. I repeat that this same. On the physical chemistry, I already told it is concept based. Once you have a good knowledge of the concept, once you get the concept, you can easily solve the numericals. And in physical chemistry, almost all the questions are numerical type only. In physical chemistry, on the top of the list we have is atomic structure and nuclear chemistry. Atomic structure and nuclear chemistry. Uh, it works around the theories and uh, so, uh, scientists, uh, scientists, uh, many scientists have given theories and uh, a few concepts so we have to learn in the atomic structure and nuclear chemistry so they ask one to two question every year from this topic next on the list we have mole concept i already told mole concept is the soul of physical chemistry without learning mole concept we cannot learn physical chemistry after mole concept we have chemical equilibrium let me tell you the equilibrium chapter i have divided in two portions even that is eventually in the book also it is divided in two portions that is chemical equilibrium and the ionic equilibrium so from
from the chemical equilibrium chapter they ask around 1 to 2 questions every year and from analytic equilibrium which is the next topic on the list they ask same 1 to 2 questions every year so studying the chemical equilibrium chapter you can fetch 8 to 12 marks in your exam and this is a very important chapter from exam point of view after ionic equilibrium we have thermodynamics on the list Thermodynamics is a class 11 topic. Uh, people find it tough to read because there are so many things of conversion, temperature and all. But once you know the conversion system and the concept of thermodynamics, it becomes very easy for you. And they ask one to two questions every year from the thermodynamic topics too. Next after thermodynamics on the list, 21st number we have that is chemical kinetics. From the chemical kinetics chapter, they ask one to two questions every year. Chemical kinetics is also an important chapter next after chemical kinetics we have electrochemistry on the electrochemistry too it's a concept based almost all the questions which they ask in exam are numerical based they ask one or two questions every year after electrochemistry we have solid state it's a chapter it's a chapter from class 12 a solid state it's an easy chapter and they ask one or two questions every year after solid state uh, is the solution chapter it's a quite theoretical chapter, quite big, but worth studying because once you study the chapter, you get one to two question in your exam. After solid state, we have redox reaction. In redox reaction, what you have to memorize is the reduction. There is a list on the on basis of the reducing properties of the elements. Once you memorize that list. You can solve almost all the questions from redox reaction chapter. And this year they have asked. Uh, and this year they have asked one question from the redox reaction chapter. Next, on the last, we have that is states of matter, which is a chapter from class 11, a very basic chapter uh, which we study at first when we enter class 11. It's an easy chapter. Once you study, uh, you get one to one or two question in your exam. So. Here I come to the end of the physical portion and what basic you have to know in physical portion is the mole concept and I already told you physical chemistry is based on physical chemistry is solely based on concept and physical chemistry from physical chemistry they ask numericals once your concept is clear you can do the numericals very easily the numericals are at your tips to summarize inorganic organic and the physical Inorganic, what is the basic thing? Periodic table and the chemical bonding. In the organic, what is the basic thing? Hydrocarbon, reaction mechanism, IUPAC nomenclature and isomerism. And physical, there is only one basic thing you have to learn that is the mole concept. Once you have a good grip of the basic, you can do 35 to 40 questions in your exam. Okay? Which accordingly you divide inorganic, organic and physical portion and don't try to skip a single topic from the chemistry because they haven't spared a single chapter from which they haven't asked questions. So it is very important to read all the chapter and the most important thing after reading is to revise. Reading only will not suffice but you have to revise thoroughly and again and again. So today we are done with the chemistry, we will soon come up with the physics.